makeover time. All right, I really like making cover photos, so I hope this video is fun for you. There are a lot of resources you can use to make cover photo, so I've listed a few of my favorites. For editing photos, my favorite tools are Photoshop and Canva. Canva is a free platform that's really easy to use and has pre-made templates that look great. If you're an artist and like to make your own images, I have added a link to the image dimensions for Facebook cover photos. Sometimes you might need free stock images. My recommendation is LibreStock. It's one of the biggest libraries of free stock images. Be sure to check the license information for any image you do decide to download because some of them require attribution, but most of them are completely free. I like to use Canva to create all my cover photos because it's easy to use and it creates great looking graphics. If you're really artsy and you like to use Photoshop, I'll provide a link below so that you can have the exact dimensions that you'll need. To create a cover photo, open up all the options and scroll down until you find the cover photo. Even though you see they still have the old profile photo overlaid on the graphic, don't worry about it. The image is the correct size and you can still make a beautiful graphic. Next, you'll want to find an option that looks great for you. Take a look. Some of the options are free, while others are paid. I'm going to use this as my base template. You while this is a beautiful image, it has nothing to do with my business. So I'm going to go to Librestock to find free images that I can use in the background. Librestock is great because it pulls content from 47 different free stock photo websites. Simply do a search for whatever you're looking for, and if there's free images, it'll pull it up for you. I usually spend a little more time going through images, but for the sake of this video, I'll keep it really quick. Back over on Canva, upload your new image if you want to add it as a background photo. Drag your image and drop it as the background of your image. You can adjust the filter to add more contrast if the text isn't easy to read. Once you're satisfied with your Canva image, click download. You'll want to download it as an image for the web or a high quality PNG. Head back over to your Facebook page and click on Add a Cover. Click Save. And now you have a beautiful new cover photo. I'm going to have you do one more thing, though, to get the most out of your cover photo. Click on your cover photo again. And now add a description. Be sure in the description to add in some sort of call to action. Once you have added short description and a call to action, click done editing. Now you're done. Next up, we're going to go over the information you need in your about section.